Torah Garden, speaking the absolute truth. Torah Nation. Shalom, 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 shalom. Yasharal, Yahuda, grafted in Gentiles into the body of Amashiach. We're listening to Hezekiah again. I love this arc. I love this song. The song is entitled Pure. I don't own the rights to this music. But listen, Yahuwah has made my desires pure. Listen, I love Yahuwah. I love Yahuwah and I love the people of Yahuwah. Yeah, 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 yeah. He has me doing this because I love the people of Yahuwah. I love Yasharal, Yaakov, the 12 tribes of which Yahuwah has established as his people. From the foundations of the earth, his firstborn. Yahuwah, I give you praise right now in the name of Yahushua Hamashiach for having established me in the witness of Yahushua Hamashiach. For having selected me in righteousness from an everlasting plan of righteousness. I thank you for establishing me, Yah, Yahuda, under Yaakov, as your son, your chosen. I give you praise. I give you praise for Yahushua Hamashiach, my kinsman redeemer, of which the scepter shall not depart from Yahuda. No, a law giver, a Torah giver, a high priest which you have sworn forever and will not repent after the order of Melchizedek of who you have put him, seated him on your right hand in the Shamaims until you make his enemies his footstool. Yahweh, I give you praise. I give you praise. I give you praise. Yahuwah, take the reins of my lips, the reins of my tongue, and reign. Yahuwah, not allow me to cause anyone to be turned out of the way. Don't call, allow me to cause anyone to stumble, to come up lame. Yahuwah, I thank you for your Ruach HaKadosh of truth, the Ruach of wisdom and revelation and the knowledge of you. I thank you, Yahuwah, for the sevenfold doctrine of creation revealed by your Ruach HaKadosh. I give you praise. Yahuwah, I give you praise for the witness of Yusha Mashiach. I give you praise for the witness of Yusha Mashiach. I give you praise for the witness of Yahusha Hamashiach. Yahuwah, I give you praise. 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 Yahuwah, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. In the name of Yahusha Hamashiach, I pray. Listen, Yahuwah has made my desires pure. Eyes have not seen. Eyes haven't seen. Ears haven't heard. All that you have for me. Listen. Eyes haven't seen. Ears haven't heard. All that you have for me, you made my desires pure. Listen, bro, I'm grateful for the witness of Yusha Mashiach. I'm, 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 I'm grateful for the quickening. Right, 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 right. Not the awakening. The awakening is the acknowledgement of the fact that you identify with the people that are your people. But the quickening is those who have turned to faith in Hamashiach, who have received the sacrifice of the high priest into the holies of holies that is in the Shamaim. That brings you in right relationship. That causes justice. Yahushua has conceived, Yahushua has satisfied justice for you because you've received the witness. Listen, again, Hezekiah, song is entitled Pure. I don't own the rights of this music. Listen, bros, listen. It's because of the witness. It's because of having received the witness. And if you haven't received the witness, 
Listen, there's no hope. There's no hope. There's no hope. It's like Agrippa. Agrippa told Shaul, said, listen, Shaul, you know, you almost, almost persuaded me to become uh, 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 a Yahudim or uh, a follower of Mashiach. Almost. There's no hope in almost. Oh, there's no Yeshua in almost. Listen, point blank period. You must receive the witness of Yahushua Hamashiach through the high priest after the order of Melchizedek that has provided you atonement and becoming the lamb of Yahuwah to take it away the sins of the world who died on a tree who was put in a grave who descended in Sheol and took the keys to death and hell was raised up by the power of Yahuwah into the Shamaim as the high priest taking his blood into the tabernacle of the most high into the courts all the way into the holies of holies where Yahuwah himself waited for his sacrifice. And when he sprinkled it on the altar, Yahuwah said, I'm pleased with you. I'm not angry with mankind no more that received the wit. Right, right, because he's still mad at the wicked every day. But those who receive the testimony, the witness of Yahushua Hamashiach, right? Those who are born again, and I ain't talking about that Christian thing. I'm not talking about that Christian thing. No, I'm not even referring to that. I'm talking about this witness, this receiving of Yahushua, this 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 savior that 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 resembles me and not Cesare Borgia and some effeminate looking blonde haired or brutal that kind of individual. I ain't talking about that. I'm talking about the the true and living Yahuwah Lua and his son Yahushua Hamashiach. It's even that witness. Being born again. Right, right. Of the Ruach HaKadosh and water. Yeah, you got to receive the Ruach HaKadosh. You got to be born again of the Ruach HaKadosh. You got to have signs following. These signs shall follow them that receive the Ruach HaKadosh. Right, 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 right. Your signs to follow. That believe. The witness. The witness is what you have to believe. The witness is what you believe. The witness is the Ruach HaKadosh, the water and the blood. You gotta receive it. You who has testified of him in the Shamaim, Abba, the Word, and the Ruach HaKadosh all testified to Yahushua HaMashiach's witness. You gotta receive the witness. And then the Ruach HaKadosh comes with signs following. Yeah, 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 yeah. It, it, it manifested itself on the day of Pentecost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ruach HaKadosh, yeah. They were all filled with the Ruach HaKadosh and began to speak with other tongues. Yeah, yeah. Clothed in tongues of fire sat upon them, rest upon them. And the clothed in tongues of fire that rested upon them was the, 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 the tongues that represented languages. But that's not the only tongues. It's a language. There's a heavenly language. That's attached to the Ruach HaKadosh, which you have that causes you to communicate between you and you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, listen. And with interpretation in the midst of an assembly by two or three witnesses. Yeah. Listen. You got to receive the Ruach HaKadosh. You got to be established in this witness. That's right. You got you, you got to receive the witness and, and there are going to be signs that follow. Yeah, 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 this is the way it is. So, let's go in. We're in Hebrews. And again, Yahuwah has had me in Hebrews in order to minister unto you the Hebrews, his, his, his chosen. Excuse me. Hebrews, his chosen son, right? His chosen son. He says, here. In Jubilees. And again, don't get it twisted. Don't get it twisted. The sevenfold doctrine of creation. Don't get it twisted. Don't let them tell you that this ain't a part of Yahuwah's total manuscript. You done bumped your head. You done lost your mind. 
This is this is this is a part of the sevenfold doctrine of creation. But see, listen, you got to have the Ruach HaKadosh. You got to receive the witness of Yahushua Mashiach because that's what is going to occur when the righteous are selected from an everlasting plan of righteousness. Hello. Hello. I am the righteous of Yahuwah selected from an everlasting plan of righteousness. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He is divine and I'm the branch. Yeah, I bear fruit. Yeah, I do. Right? And when I, when he needs to, the father needs to, he prunes me that I may, he purges me that I might bring forth more fruit. See, and my expectation is to bring forth more fruit. Right? Right, right. I'm just in the initial phases of producing fruit. Oh, oh, she could listen. Listen, this Messiah has to be preached. It has to get out. It's got to move forward. It's got to go out. It's got to get out. You can't get land locked. You can't get to the place where you say, oh, well, you know, I got mine and we got ours. And let's go ahead and establish what we got and build a nation. No, you got to go out and reach the, you got to reach the brethren. Listen, this Messiah has to be preached. You got to do what Paul and, and the apostles did. This witness has to go forth. Listen, understand this. Ain't nothing going to happen until Yahuwah's message is reached to the nation. And what you see in Christianity ain't that. No, that ain't that ain't that ain't the message. And and the awakening ain't that. Yeah, yeah, because you got people that are woken. Awaken and are going back to a land that have no idea that it's all about Yahushua Hamashiach and the restoration of a people. They 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 looking for a land. They they looking to identify with their ancestral uh, uh, us ruachs, their ancestral fathers and their ruachs. Oh yeah, oh yeah yeah yeah. See, but that's not this. See, this Masora must be preached. This witness of Yahushua Hamashiach and and the ruach and death must be preached. You got people that must be baptized. Oh, yeah, yeah, see, y'all, y'all, see. See, you think it's all over. You think it's all over because you have received the awakening. You think it's all over because, you know, you've received the witness and you and yours are all good, but that's not this. No, 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 this, this demands the reaching of the brethren in the preaching of this Basara. Listen, you know, one thing about the camps, they got it right there on the streets. Good. They, their, their doctrine is twisted and jacked up, right? But they they, they, they they got it right. Their methodology and and their 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 um their approach, right, is aggressive, right? And in some respects, just downright unnecessarily disrespectful, right? But they have it right because they're in, they're out there doing it. It's not the witness of Yahushua Hamashiach. Now, unless they're teaching and preaching the witness of Yahushua Hamashiach, right? And they have the Ruach HaKadosh, because this signs follow. You know, when, when people come to hear the word of Yahushua from you, they should be like, men and brethren, what must we do to be saved? Men and brethren, what must we do to receive this Ruach HaKadosh, this relationship? You see, because that's what happens when you're out doing the work. Right, 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 right. And signs follow. Right, that's what happens like it did on the day of Pentecost. When people were all together, you know, one accord, and they was praying in the Ruach HaKadosh, the Ruach came in, like a, like they were praying, and the Ruach HaKadosh came in and filled the place, and they began to preach to these people. People understood what they were saying, right? People had Imunah. They received, look, what, what, what must we do to escape this judgment? What must we do? Listen, repent and receive the witness of Yahushua HaMashiach. Yes, and receive the baptism be baptized and receive the baptism of the Ruach HaKadosh. See, that's that's what we should be doing. See, and, and, and you know, you know, you 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 know, you know, you 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 know. See, I'm not content, right, with just being in here. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Right. But see, I'm led by the Ruach HaKadosh, and I know the time is coming, and it's all approaching soon. Right. That that He's going to take me out, right, and I'm gone gone not not looking back and i'm gonna do exactly what he called me to do right right because you know i'm seeing this idea that you know it'd be nice to get a get some land and get a bunch of people and settle on that land you know what i'm saying and you know uh uh me mine and and everybody that's included right establish my own little tribe right got a tribe of people 
preaching and teaching to the same people tribe. But ain't nobody, ain't nobody going anywhere, out anywhere, declaring the word to anybody anywhere. It's just what we do here. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I almost, you know, almost, almost got tricked. I almost got caught up in that. You said, no, that's not what I called you to do. I called you to carry the witness. You got to declare the witness. You got to preach this with Torah. You got to declare this Torah. Yeah, and I'm going to do it too. I'm going to do it. Who's going to give me what I need to do it? Listen, 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 listen. He's going to give me what I need to get it done. And when I get it, when I go, I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm gone. Wherever he tell me to go, I'm jumping there, I'm, I'm gone. All right? I'm gone. Trusting in the Ruach HaKadosh, just like Apostle Paul. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A missionary journey. Until Yahuwah says it's time to be gathered. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The sword must be breached. This witness must be delivered. Bro. So, yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 no. I'm about the witness. See, because Yahushua has established a method of return to his people and his people who are scattered don't even understand the method. They caught up in the idea of, 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 of having been awakened and going back to Africa. Listen, ain't nothing wrong with going back to the continent. And listen, you know what? Listen, you know what? Yahoo is going to return and his kingdom is going to come because he has Jerusalem. Listen, listen. This is Ruako. He has Jerusalem in the heavens. Right. He has the kingdom. He's the temple. He has it all in the heavens. Right. Mm -hmm. He's going to bring it to the Shamaim in Africa. Yeah, it's going there. It's going there. But listen, this is the key. This is the key. You ain't getting in unless you receive the witness of Yusha Mashiach. We can go over there by the millions. And unless you receive the witness of Yusha Mashiach, you ain't getting into the kingdom. You ain't even getting to the land. You ain't going to get on the land, right? Because it's coming from the Shamaim and it's sanctified. It's set apart. It's holy. It's Kodesh. And anything that should not have been sanctified through Yahushua Mashiach's blood that has returned to him can't get in. You won't have access. You won't get, you, you, listen, you can't get in. It's because of the consciousness of sin. You can't get in this kingdom. You have to have that eradicated. You have to have that under the blood of Yahushua Mashiach. You has to be cleansed through the blood of you. Shemashach, that has to be eradicated. And so his kingdom is coming. Yeah, his Jerusalem is coming. It's coming. It's coming. Maybe in South Africa. Maybe on the East Coast of Africa. Right? It's going to be on one of them high mountains peaks. I know it's going to be around one of them high peaks. <laughs> listen, listen. It's going to be East Africa. Be East Africa. Yeah, somewhere around Kenya. You know. I mean, South Africa, right? Where he where he descends, right? With Jerusalem yeah. and the kingdom, right? And he establishes his dominion, right? And anybody ain't gonna just walk up to it, right? Because yeah. the only way to get to this place is through having received the witness, the kingdom. Let's go in, let's go in, let's go in. We're in Hebrews. We're the last chapter of Hebrews, right? The last chapter of Hebrews. Yahuwah told me a couple of weeks, several weeks ago, I think it's been several weeks, a couple of weeks, to bring an expanded idea and understanding of Hebrews in the Ruach HaKadosh. It was his clarion call to his people. For you who, who have received these YouTube videos, you who have listened to them, Yahuwah is trying to get you to a place where you recognize what you're called to. And then you need to take this to your brother and your sisters. Hebrews. See, the witness has to come to us first. And listen, it's not being established as the people only. You know, you see it, I see it all over Facebook. The establishment of the people. We the people, you know. The slaves, the chains, you know. We the people. Yeah, okay, we the people, right? 
But Yahuwah didn't let us know that we were a people just so that we know that we still in bondage to sin. He wanted us to understand and identify with the process of turning. Right? We needed to understand what our fathers did and the mistakes they made so that we don't do them. And we turn in Imunah to a high priest that we now have after the order of Melchizedek, right? That can restore us as a nation and as a people, right? And it's an individual thing. You who has chosen individuals amongst the nation, right? You have to seek thus Besorah and Imunah, right? Somebody says, well, if, if I'm chosen, then then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be okay. No, listen, bro. He chooses you to receive a word. You have to establish imuna in that word in order to be secured. He has to secure you in that word and choose you, right, in that word. You have to be secured. I'm chosen. Because I'm secured in the witness. I ain't going nowhere. I love you. Right? But I had Imunah to receive the word. Right? I had Imunah. Right? Paul preaching to Agrippa. Agrippa didn't have Imunah. He was Hebrew. Didn't have Imunah. He was a king. Agrippa. He didn't have even none. Say, I'm almost persuaded, Paul. No, you weren't chosen. Because you didn't establish Imunah in the witness. Those who establish Imunah in the witness and receive it are the chosen. Listen. Kadar, cut it out. Go lay down. Paul's letters to the Hebrews. It's his attempt to solidify his people in this witness. These letters were to be circulated amongst the Hebrew assemblies. This letter, right? In order that as the people of Alua, we would understand to what extent Yahuwah has provided Yeshua to the people that he has selected. Listen. Jubilees. Right? Jubilees. And he gave us a great sign. The Shabbat. The kingdom. The rest. The Shiloh. Then we should work six days and guard the rest, the Shiloh, the peace, right? On the seventh day from all work. Now, you know, now you know Adam and Hava had this. Adam and Hava in the garden were in Yahuwah's rest. They were in Shiloh, right? Tranquility. Even in their work, there was ease. There was rest. There was tranquility. There was trees. There were gardens. All Adam had to do was avail himself of these. He had to name animals. He communicated with them. He had to just keep Yahuwah's Torah. Now Yahuwah told him to do the one Torah that he told them not to do. He, he told them, don't eat of the tree. Uh, he told them to be fruitful and multiply. He told them to replenish the earth. 
He told him to put the kibosh down, right? Those were commands that he gave, right? 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 But it all hinged on the one Torah that involved eating of the tree. He says here, Adam and Ava existed in Shiloh. Tranquility. As the kings and priests of you in the garden, not not having a care, not having an enemy, right? Except Hasatan, but he was so subtle that you know they she she was just so beguiled and enemy. Listen. And all the angels of the presence, 19th verse of that second chapter of Jubilee, and all the angels of the sanctification, these two great classes, he has bidden us to guard the Shabbat with him in the Shamaim and the arrest. To ensure that the Shabbat is kept. He said, and he said unto us, Behold, I will separate unto myself a people from among all the people, and these shall guard the Shabbat, and I will sanctify them unto myself as my people. He going to set us apart unto his people. He is going to allow the Shabbat and our continual devotion to his commandment to keep Shabbat, to establish us as the people of Yahuwah above all other people, right? All other people. Hamites, Japhetic. Noah had three sons, Japhet and Ham and Shem, of which Shem, Abraham, Abraham's father, Terah, was an idol worshiper. But Yahuwah knew that in Abraham, he would establish his people. Right? Jacob, Yisak's son. Right? Listen, 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 listen. Behold, I will separate unto myself a people from among the people. And these shall guard my Shabbat, and I will sanctify them unto myself as my people, and I will bless them as I have sanctified the Shabbat. And do sanctify it unto myself, even so. Excuse me, excuse me. Well, I bless them and they shall be my people and I will be their Elohim. Be their Elohim. I will be their Elohim. I will set them apart. And the defining thing that's going to set them apart is the Shabbat. To keep my Shabbat. He says, and I have chosen the seed of Yaakov. These people that are to sanctify the people that he's going to sanctify, he's going to set apart, that he's going to give the Shabbat to is Yaakov. See, now listen, right? I am Yaakov. Yahuda Gaul. Right? Yahuwah has established his covenant, his agreement with my forefather, Yaakov, who was the progenitor of the twelve tribes. 
Yahuwah knew that he was going to establish my ancestors above all other people, all other nations, all other nationalities of people. I have chosen the seed of Yaakov, verse 21, from among all that I have seen and have written him down as my firstborn son and have sanctified him unto myself forever and ever. And I will teach them the Shabbat that they may guard the Shabbat thereon for all their works. Now, you know what? He chose Yaakov. He chose Levi. He chose Moshe, the lawgiver, who instructed the people again <coughs> concerning the Shabbat and wrote it down. Had the people to guard it because it was amongst the, the initial ten commandments. Right? And he went in to length. Extended length in reference to the Shabbat as a prerequisite of being his sanctified people. See, because this was going to set us apart. Because it was really a shadow, right? A shadow of the seven day rest that was going to come. In the establishment of the kingdom, right? The house of dominion, right? That Yahushua brought, right? And it waited for Yahushua, right? But Yahuwah had a people that he had to establish, right? In this order of business that was to come. See, now, if you could keep to the order of business as it is recorded to come, right? You can just keep the day, right? Shabbat, right? You would be a set apart people. But see, consciousness of sin wouldn't allow it. But you would knew this. But see, all of this was recorded in order for us to understand how he was pointing to us. As a people to be restored. As a people that he is called. A people that are called by his name. Hebrews, this is about you. He has chosen you. And this is not any, again, again, to my Gentile brothers and sisters, this is just, this is not a, a superiority trip. This is the, the Torah of truth. Yahuwah made a decision and it was his decision. He chose, he chose Shem. He didn't chose Japheth. He chose Shem. He didn't even sh choose Ham. He didn't choose their descendants. He didn't choose Japheth and Ashkenaz, which is a descendant of Japheth. He chose Shem. Avraham, Yisak, and Yaakov, they were descendants of Shem. Of which my people are descended of. Shem. <clears throat> Bruce, you gotta get a clue. Gentiles, this is not a this is not a slight. This is just a Yahuwah's plan. And you have to receive it. Any Muna. Because you know, you've been grafted in if you receive the witness of Yusha Mashiach without any of this his story. But Yahuwah has a people. A people that he has chosen who must receive the witness. Bro, you must receive the witness. Hebrews 11. I mean, Hebrews 13. Yahushua has spoken by his son, Yahushua Mashiach, which he has made heir over all things. You better receive it, bro. It says, let, let brotherly love continue. Love one another, bruise. 
Yeah, we're talking to the Hebrews. The letters to the Hebrews that were scattered in assemblies. Hebrews assemblies. So listen. Let brotherly love continue. Listen, listen. That was Yahushua's command to his disciples. He said, love one another. As I have loved you. You have the capacity to do it because you received the witness of Yahushua Mashiach. So continue to let it happen. He said, be, forget, be not forgetful to entertain strangers. Strangers, right? That word strangers in the Greek is Strong's G 5381. Philoxenia. Philoxenia. Philoxenia, right? It's 5381. Let's see if it's in here. Nope, how about the etymology of that word? 5382. No. Now, I feel the need because in our language, strangers, it references angels, right? But let's look up the word strangers. Strangers. Okay, strangers. It's Hebrew 13 and 2. That Greek word 5181. They got 5182. Uh, 5181. Uh, okay, now, in the Greek, right, that Strong's Concordance word for Hebrews 13 and 2 is G5381, right? 5381 right, is, 5381 is, Strong's G, 3581, Xenos. 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 It is foreigner, stranger, alien, without the knowledge of who a share in New, unheard of, one who receives or entertains another hospitably, stranger, foreign, right? Now, if you look at the text, right, you would understand why, right, he's speaking the Hebrew, right? He says, and be not forgetful to unter entertain strangers, foreigners, right? Those that aren't like you, right? Strangers with foreigners, right? Strangers with foreigners in Leviticus. Because there were foreigners, strangers, that left Mitzrayim with our forefathers when Yahuwah delivered them from Mitzrayim. There were Hebrews in abundance, but there were strangers as well, foreigners, right? Now he said, don't be forgetful to entertain strangers. Listen, don't, don't, 
don't 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 treat strangers who are in this witness right who are in this witness because you know Yahuwah had a special code of conduct for strangers who came out of Mitzrayim they had to be treated fairly they had to be treated with brotherly kindness if they had received the Torah they weren't Hebrews they were strangers right they weren't Jews they weren't strangers right but they 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 warranted you was love because they received his Torah, and 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 they abided by his commandments. So listen, Hebrew, let brotherly love continue, and be not forgetful to entertain those who aren't like you, because you know as Hebrews we had a problem with the Gentiles, right, strangers of the other nations. Right? But the strangers who love Yahuwah, that have received the witness, we can't not show brotherly love to them. We can't not put ourselves in a place where we don't show kindness to them. Because Yahuwah has sheep that are not of this fold. Yahuwah has called the Gentiles. He has chosen from amongst the Gentiles. It's like he chosen from amongst the brutes. He's chosen from amongst the, the Gentiles who, who are strangers. Right? Now, you may also, thereby some have entertained angels. Right? Not all of them. But Yahuwah may be testing you in order to establish you in this witness, right? And if you aren't successful in having passed the stranger test, right? You, 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 you may well be Disciplined. Why you gotta be led by the rule of God? Some has entertained strangers unaware. You gotta let brotherly love continue. And when Yahushua was referring to brotherly love, he wasn't just talking about Hebrews. He was talking about those who received the witness. He said, remember them that are in bonds as in bonds with them. Remember those that are locked up. Right? Remember those that are locked up as being bound with them. Them which suffer adversity as being yourself also in the body. Listen, listen, listen. He's talking about those who are established in the witness of Yahushua Hamashiach that are experiencing oppression as a result of their witness. They're locked up because of their preaching of the Basura, right? Those that are suffering adversely, that are being stoned, that are being put in the arenas and 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 and. and, and and fed the lions. Remember them that are under threat because of the witness. See, bro, bro, that's what I'm telling you. That's what I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Right? This Messiah has to be preached. This witness has to go forth. Listen, we ain't getting that. This is not happening to us. Right now, the stuff that has happened to us has happened to us because of the sins of our forefathers. 
being shot down in the street and all that stuff. That's that's because of the sins of our forefathers. And as a nation of people, we need to repent and turn to Yahuwah. And in this witness, in the preaching and the teaching of this sort of truth, there's going to come persecution. But it ain't what you've been experiencing as a brew. That's because of the sins of your forefathers. You have to make that distinction. Right? This besor, this witness has to be preached. When this besor and this witness is preached, then you're going to have people that are going to start to bring opposition. This besor must be preached, bruise. Must be preached. I'm praying that everyone that receives this witness. that listen to these videos regularly will be established in this witness and that Yahuwah will be compel you to begin to go out and reach the lost. Let him lead you in the Ruach of the on how to do that. Oh yeah, yeah, just don't go running. You just let him lead you in the Ruach of the on how to do it. But when he tells you to go, go. Listen. Those who suffer adversity as if you're in their position. You know your brother is suffering because of the righteousness of the witness of Yahushua Hamashiach and he is in need. Listen. You better help your brother. You have a witness and I'm, you have an obligation to help your brother. He says, listen, marriage is honorable in all and the bed undefiled, but whoremongers and adulterer Louis will judge. Point blank period. Marriage is honorable. Oh yeah, you who honors marriage. It's honorable and all. And the bed is undefiled. Right? Right? Because it's in righteousness. Right? It's established in righteousness. The matrimonial oneness is established in righteousness. It's not defiled. Right? It becomes defiled when it's outside of that matrimonial coverage. Right, it's outside of that, that 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 sanctioned covering, right? And you wander outside of that, right? And begin to become whoremongers and adulterers. You become male prostitutes. And you sin in ultra adultery, adulterous. You who will judge. Now let's look at that Greek word, whoremonger. We know what that word is. It's porno. Strong's G forty two oh five, parnas, parnas. They say parnas, but it's P O R N O S. English vernacular, porno. Or pornos. Pornos. Right? It is a male who prostitutes his body to another's lust for hire. A male prostitute. Right? A male who indulges in unlawful sexual intercourse or fornication. So Shaul is speaking to men who are having lustful desires or intercourse out of marriage or, or unlawful sexual intercourse or fornication. Pornonia. Right? Right? Now, We know, right, he says, 
He says whoremongers and adulterers. What is an adulterer? Strong's G, 3432, Moichas. Moichas. It is an adulterer. It is one who is faithless towards Alua, ungodly, right? That's the primary definition for that Greek word. Now, let, let, me, let me look that up here. G3432. Let's look at the Hebrew for that. G3432. G34. It is not in here. So, this strong word, G3432, the word is adulterer. We can look up something again. Adulterer. Uh, Hebrew word. Hebrew. It's 34, 34, 32. Right? 34, 32. That's Greek. The Greek is 34, 32. primary word, adulterer or apostate, right, denotes one who has unlawful intercourse with the spouse of another, right, unlawful intercourse with the spouse of another. So we know Paul is referring, referring, referencing intercourse or sexual misconduct. Right? You who is going to judge you? Because it's sin. Who is going to judge you? He said, conversation, it says, let your, let your was added. Just like B was added, but Conversation without covetousness. Covetousness. Not loving money. Strong's G, age 66. Afilar Guras. Afilar Guras. Right? Not loving money. Not avarious. Right? So we understand that is. Hebrews, right? Talking to Hebrew. Paul knows as a people, we ain't to be covetous, but be content with such things as ye have. For he have said, "I will never leave thee nor forsake thee." Listen. Yahusha has given a promise. Yahuwah has given a promise to you. Don't covet something that's not yours. Because you already have a guarantee that Yahuwah is going to 
give you. He has a promise for you. He going to never leave you. He ain't going to forsake you. Right? Don't. Our people covet money. Covet wealth. It's all about the wealth for them. That's the other souls for the wealth. They'll give up their kids for wealth. They'll sacrifice them for wealth. Talking to Hebrews. So that we may boldly say, Your Adonai is my helper, and I will not fear what a man shall do unto me. Listen, Yehu is my helper. Yehush is my helper. Adonai Yehush is my helper. I, I don't fear what men will do to me. I don't fear what men will do to me. Yehuda. Is my helper. I don't know Yahusha is my helper. I have an established relationship with Yahuwah through Yahusha Hamashiach, who has established me in the kingdom of Yahuwah, who is who has brought me into the holies of holies. Listen, he has literally brought me within the veil. I am lead I am literally seated in the Shamaim with Yusha in Yusha Mashiach. I have an advocate with Alua, Yahusha Hamashiach. Listen, he is the mediator between me and Yahua. Listen, I am established in this witness. I do not worry about what men will do to me. That's why I know that this gospel this I this why I know this witness has to be preached. This Masora has to be preached. In this last days. There's some bruise running around here. Running around here thinking that, you know. They're going to be setting up camps. Better get the witness out, man. Better get this witness out. Better get this witness out. Better get this witness out. Better get hands on. Better get hands on. He says, listen. So that we may boldly say that Adonai, my helper, and I will not fear what men shall do unto me. Remember them that which have rule over you. Who have spoken unto you the Basora of you. Whose faithful conversation. Whose faith following. Considering the end of their conversation, listen, Hebrews, listen, you who listen to this, you, these YouTubes that I, I give you, no, these YouTubes that Yahuwah by the Ruach HaKadosh brings to you, right? He says, remember them, right? Who rule. Now, this word rule is in the Greek. Strong's G, 2233, Hegeomai. 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 That word means to lead. I, I'm not controlling you. I don't tell you what you can and you cannot do. I'll tell you what the word of Yahuwah says. And I will establish an order in 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 the basora the ministry right and the order is going to be established in the word of you but i'm not going to tell you what to do you should have the ruach akadesh in you you should know what to do to 
to lead, to go before, to be a leader, right? Right? To have authority over, right? Right? Now, to consider, right? Listen. You need to consider the leadership, right, of the elder. The Hebrew word is the bearded one or the bearded one who has established wisdom because of life and because of the word, the Torah and the Basura of you. Right? You need to remember that I need your prayers. You should remember that I need your support. You should remember that after having listened, that you take the time and fast and pray for me. Because I've spoken unto you the Basora of you, the Torah of you, whose faith follows. You know my imuna. <laughs> I've demonstrated by the Ruach in what I've shared with you how Yahuwah by imuna has established me in my life. Considering it, considering my conversation, my manner of life. Yahusha Hamashiach, the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. You need to understand that Yahusha Hamashiach is the same. Same Yahusha Hamashiach that was in the beginning. He's the same Yahusha Hamashiach that is today, that is alive, that is seated on the right hand, Yuhulua. And he is the same forevermore. He ain't changing. His plan ain't changing. Right? He is the high priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. He is the Lamb of Yahuwah that taketh away the sins of the world. He is the high priest that's going to take his offering, that took his offering into the tabernacle in the Shamaim. He is the same. Yesterday, today, and forever. Listen. He said, listen, be not carried about with diverse and strange teachings. Strange teachings, you know. Torah only. Yah only. Tanakh only. Twelve tribes chart. All these doctrines, Christian doctrines, grace, unlimited grace. You can sin and you can sin. You don't have to keep the law. You don't have to keep the Torah. Yeah, Creflo said there's there's over 619 laws. He said you don't have to keep them, including the, he called them the Big Ten. Yeah, don't, don't, don't entertain these teachings. Be not carried about. Listen, if you receive a word from a man of Alua, a Torah, and that word is Ruach, you know that man has the Ruach HaKadosh. You know that man speaks by the Ruach HaKadosh. And the Ruach HaKadosh of truth is alive in him. Right? Right? You need to listen to that man. Right? 
You need to listen to him. Every opportunity you get, you need to listen to him. And not be carried about by everybody. I mean, I done ran into people, man. They listen to everybody. They listen to everybody. I don't listen to nobody. I don't. I used to. Occasionally, you will tell me to listen to something, and I'll listen to something. I don't listen to a lot of people. Because I know what you has called me to do, and I have to do what I call to do. That's why I'm disciplined at it. I do it all the time. I, I, I keep it before you, who Because, see, I have to be obedient to what he says. And I, and, and I ain't got time to be listening to everybody teach right now some of y'all will say well why should I listen to yours listen if the Ruach that speaks to you through me why wouldn't you listen <laughs> the Ruach that speaks through me to you why wouldn't you listen why wouldn't you make it your responsibility to listen and then to pray for me, to intercede for me. Listen. Be not carried about by diverse and strange doctrine, for it is a good thing that the heart be established in grace not with meat which have not profited them that been occupied there. So he's like, listen. You have to understand what you're ingesting. Right. Now, this is not an indictment for you not to eat meat. <laughs> this is not an indictment to not eat meat and to become vegetarian. That's, that's not what this is right he's speaking of doctrine in relationship to consuming it as its food right strange doctrine right right unclean meat right grace for it is a good thing that the heart be established in grace, right? That which establishes you in, let's see what that word grace is. Strong's G, 5485, charis. 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 That which affords joy, pleasure, delight, Sweetness, charm, lovingness, grace of speech, right? Of good living, of loving kindness, favor, grace. Of the merciful kindness which by Alua exerting as holy influence upon the soul. Let's look at that. See, G5485. I got a bigger one. I should just put that bigger one out too. G54. G5485. G5485. The Hebrew is 2580. It's beauty. The quality in a person or a thing that giveth pleasure to the senses. Someone or something that is desired, approved, favor, or in agreement by another. See, the idea here is, too, is that, you know, to be established in the favor, the grace, that which makes the heart pleasant, right? Establish the heart in grace. Right? Not with meat which 
have not purified them that have been occupied therein. Right? Well, he's also talking about the whole idea of the introduction of this whole concept of idols and and meat that is offered up to idols and how that compares in reference to the doctrines that are attached to eating meat. Offered to idols. Right? He says, not with meat which have not profit them that have been occupied therein. He says, for we have an altar whereof they have no right to eat which serve the tabernacles, right? He said, listen, we, 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 we have an altar, right? We have an altar, right? Whereof they have no right to eat, right? which serve the tabernacle, right? For the bodies of those beasts, because he's talking about the priest, he's talking about how the, 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 the Levitical priesthood, right? And the offering of these idols and meats. Now listen, now listen, now listen, now listen. He said, be not carried away with diverse and strange doctrine. For it is a good thing that the heart be established in the grace or the witness of Yahuwah and Yahushua. And not with meat that have not profited them, that have been preoccupied in them. So you have to be established in the witness of Yahushua and Mashiach and not be so concerned about meat that's offered to idols. Right? For we have an altar, right? We have an altar. We have an altar, right? Our altar is established in the Shamaim that puts us in a place of righteousness in a way in which meat have no bearing on us, right? I mean, meat from an altar, from an idol, or anything else has nothing to do with us because we are established in grace. Now, that grace is the witness of Yushamashiach. It's not this continual running to sin and forgive me, forgive me, give me. No, this is establishing, being established in the witness of Yushu Mashiach and being filled with the Ruach HaKadosh and not continuing in sin, right? So we have an altar whereof they have no right to eat, which serve the tabernacle, right? They don't have a right to come into the presence of Yahuwah. They don't have a right to eat at the table that we eat at because we have received a witness. They haven't. Brews, you who have not received the witness of Yusha and Mashiach don't have a right to the kingdom. You don't have a right to the, the to the to the to the kingdom, to the tabernacle, to the offer, to the offering. You don't have a right to nothing. We have an altar whereof they have no right to eat, which serve the tabernacle. Right? Listen, listen, listen. Not profit them that have been occupied there. And you have, you still got priests that are offering sacrifices. And still got the doctrine of sacrifices. When it's been done away with. And the Melchizedek order has replaced it. Because he's talking to Hebrews. He's talking to Hebrews. He's talking about, he's talking, he's talking to Hebrews. And actually, he's not even, he's not even talking in reference to idols, in respect to idols, because he's talking to the Hebrews. And he's talking about the priests that are still offering sacrifices and, and have a doctrine on, on, um, on keeping the Torah and the services and the ordinances and, and, and the meat offerings, listen, 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 Shaul Sha said, listen, we don't, we don't, we, we don't do those no more. We, we, we not in that no more. How well, you know, you, 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 you got to bring your sacrifice. You know, you got, you, you, you got to bring your sacrifice. No. Yahushua is the high priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. Right? So Paul is talking in reference to the priesthood and those who are trying to buy uh, 
teaching strange things. <laughs> he said, the heart is to be established in Yahushua Mashiach's witness. Not in meat offerings or not in meats which have no profit them that are occupied therein, that, that serve the altar of them. Right? We have an altar whereof they have no right to eat. Right? They don't have a right to come to this altar. Unless they receive the witness of Yusuf Mashiach. Then you have a right, because then you see it in heavenly places in Hamashiach. Yeah, you you won't participate in the feast of you. Because when Yahuwah's kingdom is established in the earth, you won't have a right to eat during the Shavuos. You won't have a right to eat during the Shavuos. Because you're establishing the witness. We have an altar whereof they have no right to eat, which serve the tabernacle. They have no right to eat this. They still serve in the tabernacle. But that's going to fade away. It's going to decay. Titus Vespasian is going to see to that. Actually, who is going to see to that? But Titus Vespasian is going to advance that. Right? For the body of those beasts whose blood is brought into the sanctuary by the high priest for sin are burned without the camp. Right? Wherefore, Yahushua also, that he might sanctify the people with his own blood, suffered without the gates. For the body of those beasts. A living beast, an animal, a brute beast, a living animal. The body of those beasts whose blood is brought into the sanctuary, right, by the high priest for sin is burned without the camp. Right? Yehusha. Wherefore, Yahushua also, that he might sanctify the people with his own blood, suffered outside the gates. Yahushua. It's better than the sacrifices of the priest that Faded away, decayed, decayed, faded away. It's the Levites faded away. The tribe, right, is still the tribe. But its services and its duties faded away. Wherefore, Yahushua also, that he might sanctify the people with his own blood having entered into the tabernacle in the Shamaim with his own blood as a high priest forever after the order of Melchizedek, right? The people with his own blood, he suffered as a lamb outside the gate. He said, let us therefore let us go, therefore, unto him in Emunah. Turn to him in Emunah. Accept his blood in Emunah. Receive his sacrifice in Emunah. With the assurance that the high priest has completed that which he was called to do in offering his blood in the altar 
on the altar in the Shamaim to the father who was within the veil that received it. Let us go forth into the out the camp bearing the reproach. Be willing to suffer for the witness. Be willing to be established in this witness. Be willing to be persecuted for this witness. Be willing to die for this witness. The high priest, right? Let us go therefore unto him without the camp bearing his reproach. For here have we no continuing city, but we seek one to come. See, now Shaul knew that there was still time. He knew that there was still time. He knew that there was a continuing city. He knew that Jerusalem was going to fall. The priesthood was going to fall. The world was going to become darkened. And he waited for our time. To when prophecy was fulfilled. To the people of Yahuwah recognized they were the people of you. Now they just need to return. They need to return. In faith in Hamashiach. Turn. It says. We're going to continue. By himself, therefore, let us offer the sacrifice of praise unto Elua. Let's come to you with a sacrifice. Not goats. Not lambs. Not bulls. But praise. Let our sacrifice be that which brings praise. Offering up unto Yahuwah praise for Yahuwah's Yahusha's sacrifice. Because he has no pleasure in goats and lambs and bulls. What you gonna offer? What you gonna offer? You have to offer praise. See, and it's only going to be accepted by those who receive the witness of Yahushua Mashiach. Because you're established. You have been sanctified. You have been justified. You have the Ruach HaKadosh. You have access into the Shamayim the holies of holies but you bring praise for what the blood of Yahushua has already done you bring praise for what the blood of Yahushua has already done you have the fruit of your lips spoken words to offer up unto you. Right? Continually. The sacrifice of praise. To allure continually. That is the fruit of our lips. Giving thanks unto his name. Yahuwah I thank you. In the name of Yahushua. For so great a Yeshua. Yahuwah I give you praise. For the, for the blessings that have come through faith in Hamashiach. Yahuwah I give you praise. Yahushua, I thank and praise you for your sacrifice, for willingly 
willingly offering up yourself for your kinsmen and for those who would receive you that are not of the nation of Yashara. I give you praise. That's the sacrifice you bring. Because you has no pleasure in the sacrifice of goats and bulls and calves any longer. No, it's a wrap. Now, what he chooses to do once the kingdom comes, but I, I don't, I don't, I don't ever see it because he never had any pleasure in it. So it make no sense that he gonna do it again. Why would he do something again that he had no pleasure in? Right? Because you know, some people think and they teach that well, you know, we gonna have sacrifices again. Why? Because once the kingdom comes, those that are in the kingdom are going to be righteous. They ain't gonna need sacrifices. They're gonna be establishing the witness of Yahushua Mashiach. And those that come to him, right, they're going to have to bring gifts from the other nations that are going to serve and that are going to rule. Yeah, but you, you who ain't going to have you butchering animals for, for Yahushua? I'm just saying. If you who ain't pleased in it, plus he wasn't pleased with it from the beginning, Guarantee you something. It ain't something he going to reinstitute. <laughs> Just saying. But to do good and to communicate, forget not. Right? For with such sacrifices, a little is well pleased. So, but to do good and to communicate, forget not. For with such sacrifice, Yahuwah is, so who, who is just pleased with good communication for doing good, for obeying Torah, keeping the commandments. Your life is a praise unto Yahuwah as you walk out Torah and you keep his commandments. He says, obey them that had the rule over you and submit yourself for they which watch for your soul as they that give an account that they may do it with joy and not with grief for that it's profitable for you. Listen, so in the assemblies, there were established order, right? In the established order, you have elders that had experience that were that were were ruaco filled men they have to have ruach right. who provided leadership just like the judges did right these have a responsibility to teach you and to guide you in ways that are going to be beneficial and profitable to you in the kingdom of you, right? Submit, right, right, not because somebody's making you submit, right, but submit willingly. If what is being required or asked of you is Ruach or if it's in Torah, there's nothing in this book that would suggest that there's anything that's negative that someone should be asking you to submit to. why it's all should be established in brotherly love because if you have the love of Yahuwah in you and you rule over people your rulership is love it's not aggressive it's not anger it's not looking mean it ain't none of that no it ain't that you, you have to understand that you are a representative of Yahuwah and he commands love because they his people.
They ain't my people. They his people. They Yahuwah's heritage. They're Yahuwah's heritage. They're his people. And as 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 people who are under leadership, we have to do what we do in with joy. And not with grief. Because it ain't going to be profitable for you. You're going to be chastised by you. <laughs> You're going to be disciplined by you. Right? He said, pray for us. Listen, pray for me. You who receive these YouTubes, you who listen to these YouTubes, pray for me. Right? Right? Write my name down. So you can see it every day. Yaakov, Yahuda got all. And pray for me, right? For we trust that we have a good conscience in all things willing to live honestly. That's all I want to do. Right? I have a good conscience in that I deliver you his word by the Ruach HaKadosh. And all I want to do is live before Yahuwah in his word, honestly, right? He says, and I beseech you rather to do this that I may be restored to you sooner. Now, Paul was desiring to be able to get back to the people sooner, right? And he was praying that Yahuwah would bring that to pass. And he wanted them to pray that. I'm praying that you would keep my name before you because I have to carry this basura out. Yeah. I got I got to get out. Out. I do. I got to pile on the pavement. I got to go. I got to get out. I got to get out. I just. I got to get out. I believe it. The, the Basura demands it. The Torah demands it. The Witness of Yush demands it. The Ruach Agadez demands it. So pray for me. That you will bring it to pass. Now, this is the benediction. He says, Now the Elohim of peace that brought again our, brought, a dead, brought again from the dead our Adonai Yahusha, the great shepherd of the sheep through the blood of the everlasting covenant. This covenant is everlasting. This is not like the covenant that he made with our fathers. Right? He amended that. He amended the priesthood. He amended that. He said, make you perfect in every good work to do his will, working in you that which was well-pleasing in his sight through Yahushua Hamashiach. Only way it's going to happen is through Yahushua Hamashiach. The only way you're going to be mature, the only way you're going to do good works, the only way you're going to be, only way you are going to be doing his will, only only way you're going to be well pleasing to him in his sight is through Yahushua Hamashiach. Simple. You have to accept that. Through Yahushua Hamashiach. To whom be the glory forever and ever. I mean, said Hebrew got to be established in this witness he says I beseech you brethren suffer the word of exhortation for I have written a letter unto you in few words listen those who are listening to my YouTube videos I have provided you a verse by verse, chapter by chapter, explanation in the Ruach HaKadosh concerning the book of Hebrews. Right? I'm exhorting you to share this YouTube with others. As Paul exhorted the brothers to share the word. He says, Know ye that our brother Timothy is set at liberty with whom, if he comes shortly, I will see you. He says, so if Timothy comes to you, I'm going to see you. 
because Timothy going to say exactly what I say. Share these YouTubes. If you know someone who can benefit, tell them to subscribe to these YouTubes. Because this Messiah must be preached. It has to go out. He says, salute all them that have the rule over you and all the Kodashim, the saints. They of Italy salute you. So Paul in prison in Rome. He's locked up. He ain't in prison. He ain't under house arrest. But he in Rome. Locked up. Because he didn't listen to the rule of Kodashim. Still getting word out. Still sending out letters. Grace be with you all. I mean, you who I pray right now that the book of Hebrews, the series on Hebrews, have ministered to my Hebrew brothers and my Hebrew sisters, and even to the Gentiles that received the witness. I pray, Yahuwah, that they would be established in the witness of Yahushua Hamashiach, having Emunah in what your word has said concerning Yahushua. You have chosen Yaakov, the twelve tribes, your firstborn. You have established Yahushua Hamashiach, your only begotten, as the mediator to restoring your people to you. He is that high priest that you have sworn and will not repent. That is after the order of Melchizedek. He is that high priest. He is that lamb of Yahuwah that was slain from the foundations of the earth. He is that lamb that was without the gates, that died without the gates. He is that lamb that went into Sheol. And took the keys of death and hell. He is that son of Yahuwah that was risen by the power of the Ruach HaKadosh. And given access into the Shamayims. And to the tabernacle that was not made with hands. He is that high priest that went into the holies. And to the most holies of holies. And he is that high priest that you met in the holies of holies. As he sprinkled his blood, you acknowledged to him that you were pleased. And you were not mad or angry with your people any longer. Those that received your witness, the witness of Yahushua Hamashiach, could be restored, could turn back to you and receive this kingdom. Yahuwah, I give you praise. I pray that this word would minister and res resonate, resonate in the hearts of those that you have chosen. In the name of Yahushua Mashiach, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, Yahuwah, my strength and my redeemer. Yahushua's name. Listen, man of Yah, one of Yah, that's it. The entire book of Hebrews. I am going to group it together as a series on YouTube. So it's going to go from the first chapter to the 13th chapter in the series of videos. And I'm going to do that. So, but again, um, pray for me, Yaakov, Yahuda Gaal. Pray for the Basura of Truth ministries because this it's got to hit the road it's got to pound the pavement it's got to go so pray for us that you would give us what we need and establish us in this and with that i say man of yah one of y'all called the greatness woman of yahuwah beautifully and wonderfully made today yahuwah's favored you walk in that favor be led by the Ruach HaKadosh and be established in this witness. With that, I say again, Shalom, 
Shalom, shalom, and be blessed. Torah Garden, speaking the absolute truth. Torah Nation.